Good evening and welcome to Halifax for the second semifinal game of the 2023 World Junior Hockey Championship. The United States and Canada face each other in this tournament for the first time since the 2021 gold medal game won by the U.S. 2-0 in Edmonton. Canada is the visiting team in this game and in goal is Thomas Millich who took over as Canada's number one goaltender and has a save percentage of 921 in the tournament. The same can be said of U.S. starting goaltender Trey Augustine, just 17 years of age, eligible for the upcoming NHL draft. He plays for the U.S. National Team Development Program. He'll be going to Michigan State next year. Okay, boys, have fun. Play hard, but play fair, guys. Let's go. And away we go. Fifth last year with the U.S. They lost their quarterfinal matchup 4-2 to Czechia. That shot blocked. Bounces back in front of score. Morgan cooling off the face-off win, and the U.S. has an early 1-0 lead. Logan Cooley, the leading scorer for the American team, starts it with the face-off win himself. And an icing play. That's the offensive line for the offensive zone face-off, and Cooley finds this loose puck before anybody else and sweeps it home. Millich can't really spot it. That was played up by Stramel. Brindley works in, drops it back, and a long shot, rebound, score! Tapped home by Kenny Connors, and it's 2-0 Team USA. Zone entry, middle of the ice, and... Del Mastro is back there, but he doesn't tie up his guy. He's kind of playing like a three-on-two. Gets caught watching the puck for a second. Doesn't put a body on Connors. Connors stick on the ice, shot for a rebound, tap it in. 2-0 U.S. Bulls in back-to-back games for Kenny Connors. As Del Mastro moves up. Del Mastro sits and scores! The kid strikes again! for each team off a face-off. This time, Joshua Waugh steps in because Stanko is having trouble. And Bedard works to beat Ufko to the back post. Ufko's kind of trying to find the puck and find the man. He gets his stick tied up in the feet of Bedard, and he stays out front enough to tip it home. Nice pass from Del Mastro to the streaking Bedard, and that is huge for Canada to get themselves right back into this game. Back to place the injury. Colton Dock for Canada comes into the four check. And missed a goal over by Fantilli. Close the lead to one. Also got the building back alive. Some emotion in the game. And the high low back falls. Fantilli finishes his check. Stramel moves that back to Barron. That pass was blocked by Clark. Picking the center right to Bedard. He picks Bedard on Hughes. Bedard spins back. Holds and fires. And Augustine makes the save on Connor Bedard. Stanko for the face-off against Cooley, who's having a great freshman year at the University of Minnesota. Stanko wins it, Clark walks in and shoots! Save by Barron, he rebounds, score! Morgan Stanko wins the draw and ties the game! Cutter Goche takes a strange route, is picked off by the pile, and allows Grant Clark to walk all the way down into a shooting area, shot off the mask, and the big line off two face-offs has scored two goals. That goes in on Hughes. Just the tip of the corner. Bank here to back. Slides that back to Clark. Feeds it across. Shot back to shot by Fantilli at the goal post. Bring it right off the pipe. And this pass to Brent Clark. That's nice vision for Clark. He's got Augustine way at the top of the crease. And Fantilli, oh, far post as well. I bet he hits the net eight out of ten times there. Picked up by a step jump. Puts it ahead. That's knocked away by Efko. Rink wide pass to Lucius. Busting in. Chaz Lucius. Stop by Millich. Rebound. Lucius. But that was knocked away. Chance after chance. Lucius in alone. Seeks in behind the defenders. And that's a beauty blocker save. Scramble draw. The one thing that Dennis Williams, the Canadian coach, talked about yesterday was don't lose any clean. Fantilli throws that rink wide for Dean. Dean moves in. Some of the back Tyler 
Boucher gets caught watching the puck, and Fantilli beats him back door, and what a feed on his backhand. He pulls it, puts a lot on it, right to Fantilli to tuck it in. And that will feel great against some of his teammates from Michigan. And how's your birthday going right now, Zach Team? Turns 20 today. Throws it back across to Allen. Allen to center ice. Barron's up ahead for Cooley. In comes Logan Cooley with Snuggerud. Shoots and Miller makes the left stop. Gets across, tracks it. Oh, yes. Take it away and bail out your teammates once again. Nathan Gauthier, the pass skipped by him. Lucius comes in for McGordy. Works back in. McGordy comes in the high slot. Hughes works in. Luke Hughes with a backhand shot. Miller's to save. Loose puck in front of the general. And it's four. Jackson Blake ties it up. It's 3-3. Dennis Williams having a discussion now with referee Michael Jerick. Now he's definitely in his crease. But if you have the puck board, oh, he's gonna he's gonna give her. Team Canada challenge the play for a goal interference. Question becomes: Can you, with the puck on your stick, interfere with the goaltender as you attack the net? After video review, there is a goal, then there interference, so we have no goal. Pepsi challenge. Lift ahead to Waugh. Waugh trying to slide that ahead for Bedard. And Bedard holds it. In comes Bedard. Slides that down to Stankoven. Back for Bedard. The pass broken up. It's Joshua Waugh. Canada's up by two. Joshua Waugh popping up at the right time, at the right spot, and you can see the U.S. bench checking to see if this one is offside. It was close on the entry. I, my radar was going off. It's Bedard, can't see it there, pucks along the wall. This will give us a better look at it. Well, that's good, He's that's outside. good. And Joshua Waugh, man, oh man. Check out the hands. Little grab and scoop. Bouncing puck goes back to Bedard. Here he comes again. He's across. Good throw. Look at the shot. Augustine makes the stop and hangs on with 36 seconds to go in the power play. Tough to read the eyes because he's not even looking at the guy he's passing it to. He's selling shot with his eyes. Gauthier off the draw. There's McCordy with a chance. to stick goes into the net. And it's a score! It's a goal as the stick went flying in. And the U.S. is pulled back with a one. A wild sequence. You're right, crazy sequence. Another face-off goal. Gets flying around. That's not going to count. That's going to be a challenge, and that will not count. It's underneath his pad. It is covered. He's got it. You cannot shove right. the guy's pad with the puck underneath it under the net to dislodge it. I got to think they're going to challenge this one. And they're going to win this one. After review, it determined that there is a cold and interference, no goal. Well, it's two against the U.S. They'll be called back. That one was obvious. That one was clear. That one is easy. There's no doubt about that one. Ten seconds to go on the power play. Hughes fires it down. Millis, look out. Off his heel. Chance it by the stop. He freezes it. It's under Milic, he's got it. Cooley came in for a late whack. And the U.S. was that close to getting one. And here's that off the stanchion, off his pad. <laughs> Nothing's oh. Just get back, and he doesn't know what's between his legs, but Logan Cooley does. And the whistle goes just in time. As Milic has been the story for Canada in this game. Cutter Gauthier tries to center it. Knocked down by Waugh. He's away with Gauthier. Waugh comes in for Gauthier. Gauthier looks back in the high slot. Zellweger spins. Moves it back. And Sean Augustine makes the save. As Zellweger comes dancing in. You don't stay on your feet. Could be trouble, but that is beautiful. Shakes Gauthier. Can't solve Augustine. Away comes Zellweger along with Bankier yes. and Fantilli. Barrett. Bedford Snuggerud, Bankier comes in, 
Force it free for back. Owen back works in. Back. He's a back across. Then he shoots. That's one. Clap of the chance. Scores. Clark. It's 5 2 Canada. Fourth line gets their first shift in forever. And maybe it's the fresh legs. They get involved in the four check. Turn it over. Back to Fantilli. Broken play. Brant Clark, who is as calm in this chaos as anybody out on the ice. Knocks it down, settles it down, and makes no mistake. Takes the time that only he knows he has and flicks it over top of the glove of Trey Augustine to get Canada up 5-2. Hughes. Broken up by Law. night for Joshua Watt. The best player for Canada. He's not wearing goal pads. Involved in everything offensively. And for such a gifted offensive player, he's a very good penalty killer. Reads the drop, steps into it. And how about him not even skating into the net? He shoots it for 40 feet because he he's can. not going to miss.